Fire crews and volunteers are preparing for shocking weather conditions tomorrow with an extreme fire danger warning in place. Total fire bans have been declared for most of the state and there are fears the situation could turn catastrophic. From their tower on Sydney's northern fringe, they keep a nervous watch. They're just over there. In front of them, dry bush as far as the eye can see and further on the horizon, weather right for it to explode. We're preparing ourselves for dangerous fire weather conditions. Tomorrow in Greater Sydney, the Hunter and Illawarra, the fire danger rating will sit on extreme and has the potential to blow beyond the red zone on the back of hot 80 kilometre per hour winds. And indeed, with some of the wind gusts, we can expect to see uh, some of those areas uh, tipping into catastrophic uh, at different times throughout the afternoon. And it's almost unheard of, a month into spring and the fifth total fire ban announced for much of the state. And while we're all on fire watch, there is also a snake alert to deal with. The early warm spell has flushed out the slippery ones. In Sydney's west, there's been 34 sightings in the last month. We're getting uh, more calls at this time of year than, than we, we generally would. But of course, there is a bright side. We're definitely not complaining down here, but uh, the water's getting warmer. It's, it's almost hit 20 degrees now. And uh, look, for anyone that likes the beach, it's great weather. Sunny, 39 degrees, life's a beach. The only potential spoiler, the wind. And that's why our firefighters are so concerned. Damien Ryan's at RFS headquarters tonight. Damien police are also taking tomorrow's extreme heat very seriously. Yeah, they have to, Pete, because history shows, sadly, that critical days like tomorrow can bring out the worst in people. Now, police will be on patrol, but, of course, they're calling on the public to be on the lookout as well for any potential firebugs. If you see anyone acting suspiciously, dial triple zero. Last year, 87 people were rounded up for lighting fires. 55 of those were kids. And now, uh, of course, uh, me uh, as well, um, they're looking out for children. But meanwhile, people planning to go bushwalking tomorrow or asked to give it a miss. And if you live in bushfire-prone areas, make sure you have a plan, Pete. Good on you, Damien. Thank you. Amber Sherlock joins us now with a breakdown of those extreme weather conditions. Amber, what's in store? Pete, we are heading for record-breaking heat. An average of 39 degrees is expected across the basin, but it will be the warmest in the city and the airport. Now, if it does reach 39, it will be the hottest October day on record. The dry and gusty northwesterly winds will reach up to 80 kilometres an hour and will prevent any sea breezes from developing, so that will make it feel even warmer. It will also be very dry with humidity at just 20% or below. So it all points to extremely high fire danger, but a southerly buster is expected to bring some relief. I'll tell you when that will move through a little later, Pete. Amber, thank you.